Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. It's really hard for me to film these days, like there's been so much going on. Um, looking for a place and it's just been really intense. Um, let's say so. I've been going through a lot personally and emotionally. I just started my period so that also is, I'm like right in the middle of that emotional phase in, of my month in my cycle so I'm trying to be kind to myself and I thought that this week is the last week that we're here at this house and then we're moving to another house so we're pretty busy and I thought today I'd share with you what I eat in a day and especially when I'm on my period and when I'm going through a lot and all of these things <laughs> so um I'm gonna make breakfast. It's a bit late. Usually I have breakfast a little earlier. I've started having breakfast. Yeah, it's almost 10. Usually I have breakfast earlier, but today was a bit of a slow start. Um, I'm pretty hungry, so let's make some food. So for breakfast, I cut up an apple. We've mostly been having apples and oranges here in South Africa. The fruit is amazing tried a few different coconut yogurts since been here and that's been the best so far it's from the brand called yokos and it's so fluffy and creamy it's so good and i love to top it with tahini and maple syrup and then some almonds for an extra crunch that has been my go-to breakfast lately it's so easy to make really filling very nice simple that day I was pretty hungry um, because I had breakfast a little later so I decided to make a toast with avocado. It's really easy to find sourdough bread here in South Africa so that's something I've been really enjoying and I like to toast mine. Then I cut up some radishes to add a little color and crunch and cut up an avocado. I also decided to add a little bit of cashew cheese to my toast. This is um, some goat style cashew vegan cheese uh, with herbs and garlic and it's so good. Uh, you could definitely make this yourself by soaking cashews and adding some herbs to it and blending it all together. And then I spread all my half of one avocado onto the toast. I added the radishes and I love the little crunch and color that it gives to it. I like to add other things on my toasts usually and then i squeezed some lemon juice put it all on a very pretty plate and i added some uh, salt and black pepper and some olive oil to the toast and that was the second part of my breakfast and that definitely kept me full for a while um it was really yummy and delicious so because I had a big breakfast uh, for lunch, I decided to make something a little bit smaller. I wasn't that hungry actually for lunch that day and we had to go. So I did something really quick that I absolutely enjoyed. I sauteed some mushrooms. These are the best mushrooms I've ever had. They're so good, so flavorful. They have such a nice texture. They brown so beautifully literally like so amazed i didn't think i was gonna find such delicious mushrooms in south africa but you'd be surprised um and then i added some tofu and some kale to that pan and i sauteed everything together for a couple more minutes and mixed it all together it's just really easy when you have things in the fridge and you want to use them up and make it easy meal and the tofu also makes that dish uh, very filling and satisfying so yeah, that was delicious, so simple, just a little bit of olive oil, salt, black pepper. Um, yeah, it's just something I love having for lunch, especially when I want to have a warm lunch. Also, especially when I'm on my period, I try to eat more like warm, simple foods. Poured all of that into a bowl and then I added some fresh cucumber and some sauerkraut, red cabbage sauerkraut that we got here and some tahini and lemon juice that was such an easy lunch and it was so good i'm definitely gonna make more of these 
throw everything in the bowl type of lunches. Um, very delicious and healthy. I just came home. I was at the coffee shop for a little bit to get some work done. And I had a chai latte there, which was delicious. Um, yeah, I try to stay away from caffeine in general. And especially when I'm on my period. Because I find that it disrupts everything a little bit. But yeah. And now I'm just snacking on some almonds and dark chocolate. This is really good uh, for when you're on your period. Because it has magnesium in it. And right now I am working on a new blog post. I wanted to share a few spots that I've been to in Cape Town that I really liked. Um, we didn't go out so much yet, but we've been to a few coffee shops and a few restaurants and nice like food places. Um, maybe I'll add a couple ones that I haven't um, been yet that were really highly recommended and that I will go for sure. I might add more as um, our stay here evolves. Um, but yeah, I will put a link to the blog post um, down below. And I know many of you are familiar with um, the Squarespace ad, so if you know about it and you're not interested, feel free to skip this part. But for those of you who are new here or those of you who are interested in creating your own website, I created my blog with Squarespace, which is an amazing platform if you want to create your own blog, online store or website. I will put a link up here if you want to get a free trial. And for those of you who've actually done a trial and really like the platform and want to launch your own website, you can go to that link up here, squarespace.com slash With that link, you'll get a 10% off your order. I will also put all those links down in the description for you to check them out. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you have any recommendations of places that I should try while I'm in Cape Town um, to eat out, let me know. We're here for a bit, so we're happy to test some places. And yeah, oh, also what I wanted to share with you guys is the book that I've been reading, well, that I just picked up today again. There's a book, The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. This is a book that I read in 2017 and I absolutely loved it and so Russ had never read it and he he wanted to um, bring it with us to South Africa so I uh, actually was inspired to read this again and I picked it up today and I just love this book so much it's amazing to like to me this was even more impactful than the four agreements um, that was written by the same author. So if you've read The Four Agreements and you're interested in reading more books uh, from the same author, check it out. If you're interested in this book only, check it out. It's really, really great. Um, it's a practical guide to the art of relationships, but it's not just the relationship with others, but it's also the relationship with yourself, which is the main one I'm trying to work on right now. Um, and I think most of us, are throughout our lives so yeah and it's just very easy to read like really pretty pages i just love this book so much like i should have it in the back pocket of something every time and be able to just go back to it because it's it's that impactful and yeah it's just so great so i'm so happy i picked it up because i was a little bit of in a rut and I thought I needed something a bit soothing for me, but also like really inspiring. So book update. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna start making dinner soon because Russ is gonna come back. He went to a dentist appointment. Um, I know, pretty random. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna have something simple for dinner tonight, like maybe a soup. For dinner, no surprise, I decided to have the soup. Um, this has been something that Ross and I have been al having a lot. I added some vegan cheese from the same brand as the cheese I had with the avocado toast for breakfast. And I also added some smoked tofu um, to the soup. And the soup was just leftovers, Swiss chards, um, celery, and carrots. So 
that's it for today thank you so much for tuning in today with me and spending this moment together i hope you enjoyed this video and i'm so excited to come back next week with a new video that will be recorded in the next house that we're staying so that's really exciting um i'm just so ready to settle down and move forward with our adventures here and really find a routine because that's something I've been missing so much and it's been really tough emotionally to be constantly in transitions. Can't wait for what that will bring. So I send you all a big warm hug. I hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you next week in the new house.